Talofa and greetings to you all uh, who are able to attend this consultation session for the Pacific Islands uh, Free R and Retain Advocates. Mm -hmm. As the Useful Island Protocol, I would like to lead us in a prayer. So bow your head. Our Heavenly Father, uh, we are coming to you before we commence our session. Uh, we'd like to seek your guidance and blessing. Please direct us to areas where we need to work for the protection of your environment and your earth. We ask this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, today, uh, in collaboration with SPREP, we are using this session to consult our association and our free R plus free chain advocates in the Pacific Islands on the way forward for Chair Prism and Chaik Association support. At the same time, we wish to discuss with our existing associations on their progress, issues, and way forward. During the first 40 minutes of this session, we will listen to the progresses made by our five associations in Samoa, Manuatu, Solomon, uh, Papua New Guinea, and Tonga. Then the second last 20 minutes, we will discuss the way forward of our chairperson to support to this association and any upcoming association in the future. We will welcome the input from our associations, partners and countries and anyone that are interested. We will have six presentations for this session and we are blessed to have five presidents of five associations from Samoa, Vanuatu, Solomon, Tonga and Papua New Guinea. Without further ado, I would like to introduce our first uh, presenter to you, and that is uh, uh, Yoko, Yoko uh, uh, Nomua. Uh, she is the president, uh, she is the uh, expert on free R plus return uh, of Chief Prison. Yoko, son, you have the screen. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yoko Onema. Uh, in uh, from k Prison Phase 2, I'm in charge of 3R plus return and monitoring. Today, I'd like to introduce uh, k Prison 3R plus return activities. So JICA has been conducting JPRISM Prison Phase 2 in partnership with PREP and the uh, responsible uh, waste management authorities, stakeholders in nine Pacific Island countries since 2017 as a five-year project. So one of the JPRISM current activity is to enhance a practical and sustainable three hour plus return system in the Pacific, which is one of the our four outputs that we are aiming for. So what does three hour plus return mean? Uh, it's uh, reuse, reduce, recycle, and return. So this is a term used as a uh, important concept of Cleaner Pacific 2025 and J Prism for promoting environmental sound waste management system building in the Pacific. So when we look at the return of recyclable material um, in the Pacific, the vast majority of recycling activity in the Pacific uh, are led by the private sector and uh, driven by uh, prices in the international recycling commodity market. Then in order to think about how the plus return system can be developed in the Pacific as a practical and sustainable mechanism, we do three R plus return activities, conducting uh, recycling surveys, uh, supporting the recycling association setup and activity support, and implementing pilot projects. Um, especially, I'd like to thank all the member of the recycling association of Samoa, uh, Vanuatu, Solomon, PNG, Tonga. Since the beginning of JPRISM phase two, it's a great honor for us to be involved in the launch of your organization setup. And we believe that your role has uh, contributed significantly to the strengthening of the Pacific recycling network. So we really appreciate your continued support. 
uh, as an example of these uh, activities uh, to identify the possibility and the challenges on recycling activities in the Pacific. Uh, we are doing pilot project with the Summer Recycling Association of Plastic and the West Oil Recycling. So uh, this slide shows the uh, uh, waste processing flow of PET bottles introduced in the uh, pilot project. So Summer Recycling Association has installed uh, collection cages for PET bottles and aluminum cans in supermarkets, uh, hotels, uh, restaurants since 2019. So in this pilot project, we procure a crusting machine uh, and try to increase the economic value of collected PET bottles. According to the uh, j Prison Recycling Survey, uh, the economic value is uh, doubled by comparing bailed PET price to PET freight selling price with additional processing. As a uh, summer recycling association has a PET question capacity of eight tons per year, so we would like to try manufacturing PET freight and securing the internet, international uh, recycling market. So other than PET, we use the plastic of the indoor units of the air conditioner collected by a summer recycling association to try to make bricks uh, made from 100% uh, recycled plastic using the extruder machine and analyze the cost and the business sustainability. The waste oil is also one of our target items. Some recycling association has been conducting waste oil uh, collection programs uh, since 2019. So in this pilot project, we do accelerate a waste oil collection and cost analysis, aiming at the appropriate collection stage and export in line with their business plan. Last but not least, uh, let me introduce to our regional open platform, Pacific Islands 3R Plus Return Advocates on Facebook page. Uh, we have 224 members so far, and we believe that this platform will be useful for everyone to strengthen our regional network and launch a regional recycling association in the Pacific. If you haven't registered yet, uh, please apply for registration with this Facebook page. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, I'd be pleased to answer them. Thank you very much. Thanks, uh, Yoko-san, uh, for that uh, very well uh, presented uh, information from the regional level. I think that set the scene for our follow-up uh, uh, presentation from our associations. Uh, without further ado, I would like to uh, introduce you our first presentation from our association. And this one is from uh, Vanuatu. Uh, Mr. Andrew Hipkamp, uh, he's the uh, owner and the managing director of the Recycle Co. and the only recycler in uh, Vanuatu. Uh, he's the current president of uh, the association. Uh, you are on the screen, uh, Andrew. I'll give you just a quick overview of our history, our formation and activities over the past couple of years and we'll conclude with some of our thoughts on the current situation in the sector and our main short-term objectives. An initial meeting organ proposed and organised by JPRISM was held at the Vanuatu Chamber of Commerce and Industry in March 2019. The initial meeting was also attended by a consultant had proposed to the Vanuatu government through the Department of Environment that it contained a deposit be established. This led to a number of business owners and various representatives of organisations, including manufacturers, NGOs, environmental consultants, and the country's only formal recycler getting together and forming the VRWMA. Our association was launched in November 2019 by the then Prime Minister, Charlotte Selwyde and was attended by the heads of mission from the UK, France, New Zealand, Australia, and of course the ambassador of Japan, as JICA and JPRISM funded the launch. Our vision is to have an active and sustainable recycling and waste management industry in Vanuatu that reduces the environmental footprint of waste and capitalises on innovation and opportunities. The organisation currently sees its place 
as the conduit between members, donor organisations and government. Our role is to facilitate the linking of members, donors and information and to provide a platform for members to realise their aspirations. Currently, the association doesn't act as an implementer of projects, but rather a facilitator. We currently have 14 members. They must have a demonstrable interest in recycling, waste management, waste minimisation or commercial waste production for more than 12 months. Our members are enthusiastic to implement change. Having an organisation made up of high quality individuals from private sector businesses and successful organisations has its own set of challenges. When programs get bogged down, whether in government or through non-responsive donor partners, maintaining momentum and engagement can be compromised. I cannot emphasise enough that when donors want to engage, they need to expect that our members when working on projects often have high expectations and donor organisations and governments need to be timely. Our organisation represents a recycler, manufacturers, wholesalers, retailers and other businesses, consultants and experts in the waste industry, and a number of non-government organisations with an interest in the environment. This and the following slides are representative of the activities that we've been involved with over the past couple of years. We have produced a strategic plan assisted by JPRESENT2. The first activity that the newly formed organisation got their teeth into, even before it was formalised, was the development of a policy paper that outlined the association's views on how a CDS should operate in Vanuatu. This was done purely with a view to ensuring that if the government was going to implement the CDS, we wanted one that would work and be fully sustainable from its commencement. A website has been designed and is now live. It will be a repository for information on waste studies that have already occurred. Hopefully, organisations will have a look at what has already been done before heading off to the landfill and our members' doors to ask the same questions again. One of the most visible activities that our members were involved with this year was a plastic bottle buyback. This was a great initiative funded by World Vision in collaboration with several members taking part in different aspects. Over 1.4 million bottles were recovered in four days. This would not have occurred without the formation of our association. This led to over 10 million vati being paid back to the community for the bottles collected. The activities in the previous slide led to the first container of plastic bottles and caps being exported from Vanuatu for recycling. This led to bottle to bottle recycling. I will leave this slide up for a moment as a recognition to all the organisations that assisted in the initiative. World Vision, the ANZ Bank, Plastic Waste Free Islands Project, Swire Shipping using the Wanataka Initiative and a fear of stevedoring. This initiative was driven by several VRWMA members, including Recycle Corp, VES and Vanuatu Beverages. The VRWMA are also supporting members of ANSPAC and several members of our association are also paid members of the organisation. ANSPAC is actively looking for solutions to reduce and improve plastic packaging and reduce its environmental impact. Finally, there is always too much discussion at our meetings about donors competing in the same space, redoing studies of the same thing over and over, and a disregard for our members' time and information. We are drowning in studies, research and desk orders. The money spent on consultants in the waste sector in any recent year in Vanuatu would be more than is required for the implementation of the Container Deposit Scheme. The top priority for the VRWMA is to see that the CDS is implemented in Vanuatu. As demonstrated by our membership, we have the capacity to make real change on the ground in practical ways. We would like to see a shift in spending away from studies and recommendations and a move towards spending on infrastructure and implementation. We certainly want and will need technical assistance on specific tasks, but we want to see a shift away from theory and future aspirations to a much more immediate and direct impact. We are all looking forward to making reducing 
reusing, refilling, repurposing and recycling mainstream in Vanuatu. I would like to say thank you to J Prism for facilitating the establishment of our organisation and particularly to Fafatai for his support throughout the last couple of years. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew, uh, for this uh, well uh, uh, informative uh, information. Uh, we have our team, uh, our partners, we take note of your uh, information share, and this is the purpose of our uh, consultation and this well noted. Uh, we have our second uh, presentation uh, from uh, Corey, uh, Mr. Corey Chan. Uh, he's the president of uh, the Papua New Guinea Waste Management Association, and he's also the managing director of the Total Waste Management uh, Limited in Papua New Guinea. Um, I will, uh, without further ado, I will pass on the, the screen uh, to uh, Corey Chan. Good afternoon and thank you for your time and for allowing me the opportunity to present at the 2021 Clean Pacific Roundtable Conference. My name is Corey Chan. I'd like to open my presentation by sharing some important facts about Papua New Guinea, which make it so critically important for the PNG Waste Management and Recyclers Association to be established and operational. Most importantly, to protect the natural and cultural heritage of our beautiful country. We have a population of just over eight and a half million people, of which 50% of that population are under the age of 18. We have one third of the world's indigenous languages spoken, and 10% of the world's languages spoken in PNG. Our indigenous makeup comprises of both Melanesian and Polynesian descent. In terms of land area or land mass, we make up 1% of the world's total land mass. We have the third largest rainforest in the world behind the Amazon and the Republic of Congo. We have over 200,000 species of plants and animals and half the plants and animal species found in PNG are not yet discovered. And PNG is a country that's been very blessed in terms of natural resources. But with those type of projects that come online, there is huge impact on environment and social development. We have over nine operating mines producing copper, gold and nickel. We have five operating oil and gas fields producing crude and LNG. We also have a very dominant fisheries and forestry and agricultural industry, as well as transport, providing both shipping, landing and air. But we're faced with many challenges in PNG. Most, of, most notably is our outdated PNG Environment Act of 2000. This requires urgent reform. In terms of regulation, there is a lack of resources, a lack of monitoring and enforcement, and a lack of standards. These are all work in progress, mind you. Um, and that leads me to the next point, which is the National Waste Management and Chemical Policy, which is also a work in progress um, and, and not too far away from implementation. And of course, is this association, which has been newly set up and in the process of being registered at present. Our association is a not-for-profit not incorporated association representing the interests of the private industry, government, community, educational and business sectors. Our purpose is to promote the development of waste management and recycling in PNG in accordance with the waste management hierarchy. Our structure is made up of an executive, of which the office bearers are a president, vice president, treasurer and secretary, and three ordinary independent positions, ordinary members. Our membership will consist of individual, corporate, student and affiliate. And we've been very fortunate to be supported by SPREP and JPRISM, as well as our national regulatory, regulatory body, SEPA, and the National Capital District Commission, as well as various private sector uh, organisations. Our objectives are to promote and support the continuing development of sustainable waste management practices, technologies and systems in PNG 
in accordance with the waste management hierarchy. We need to pursue collaboration between government and the private sector in the, in the development of policy and legal frameworks for waste management in PNG. We want to foster professionalism of the waste management sector and people working in the industry in PNG. And we want to facilitate stakeholder understanding through education, awareness, training and research in waste management and resource recovery principles. Some of the guiding principles, ESG, environment, social and governance, they help provide accountability and transparency. The waste management hierarchy, promoting resource recovery ahead of disposal. Circular economy, to remanufacture new products from discarded materials. The SDGs will help promote prosperity and protect the planet. And we must be considerate of climate change, particularly in the decision-making process for the waste management industry. And we must uphold hazardous waste multilateral environment agreements and conventions. Our current status. So we've formed an interim executive in June of 2021, and we've had regular meetings since that time. We've developed our constitution for the association, and we've also lodged our notice of intent to apply for the incorpor incorporation of an association through our regulatory compliance body, IPA. The next steps are to develop membership packages and encourage membership, coordinate industry forums, explore funding opportunities, liaise and establish affiliations with national, regional and international agencies, contribute to government policy and propose legislative change and to launch, officially launch, the PNG Wemmer Association, as well as having our annual general meeting and election. All in all, this has been a long time coming. We're very proud that we are taking the right steps towards forming this association. And of course, allowing this body to become a voice for industry, to drive a very critical um, sector uh, and usually one that goes unnoticed at the waste management industry in Papua New Guinea. Thank you very much for your time, and I'm happy to take any questions you may have. Thanks, Corey Chan, for your presentation. Uh, we noted the progress and uh, good luck for the remaining uh, uh, progress. Uh, we are looking at Papua New Guinea as a big brother and uh, also to uh, learn from uh, your association in the future. Our next uh, presentation will be uh, from uh, the president of uh, Solomon Island uh, uh, Recycling and Waste Management Association, Mr. Lindsay, Lindsay uh, Chopasi, is also the managing director of the design and uh, uh, center in uh, Honiara. Uh, Lindsay, you have the screen. Hello. And thank you for giving me this opportunity to be able to present on behalf of the Solomon Island Recycling and Waste Management Association. I am Mr. Lindsay Teobasi, the president of the association. And uh, I would like to present on this consultation session for the Pacific Islands 3R plus return advocates meeting. First, I would like to give some background information on the association. The Solomon Island Recycling Waste Management Association was established in November of 2019. In February 2021, the association launched its strategic plan 2021 to 2013. We now have uh, 18 registered members and uh, the purpose of the association is to enhance the capacity of waste management in Solomon Islands through active participation of the private sector with focus on improved collaboration between the government and the private sector. Also improving supporting policy and legal frameworks. And 
then look at improved access and collaboration with development partners on waste related development, which private business cannot access at the moment. Issues that is currently faced in the Solomon Islands within the association is uh, littering and illegal dumping. We also have the lack of waste management services. Only urban and town areas, but rural areas have no services. We also have limited government land for proper waste disposal services in all the islands. I think this is one of the major concern for the, the country. We have inter-island shipping costs, which are fairly high, and also it makes it difficult for promoting recycling uh, within the outer islands of the Solomons. Recycling operations are mostly focused on non-ferrous metals. Other wastes are still going to the waste disposal. Some of the future visions and our way forward is first to establish a center of learning, research and design of products. We also look at help for assisting the existing recyclers to develop the recycling and waste management programs, uh, inclusive of polymers, plastics, e-waste, aluminum cans, waste oil, and so on. We would like to do networking with the Solomon Island government, donor agencies, and uh, the NGOs and stakeholders. Solomon Islands, to be a clean, green country with proper waste management through the application of the three R's and return is very crucial if we are to solve the problem, especially plastic waste, waste which starts on land and ends up in our oceans. The call now is for our stakeholders, including our families, our households, our communities, institutions, the government, development and donor partners for better collaboration through implementation of recycling and waste management activities to mitigate impacts of climate change, both in technical and financial support. And at this juncture, it is important that we can work together to make a lasting change and a better future for our generations. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Lindsay Delpasi, for your presentation. Uh, we, we can hear and note that uh, issues and challenges facing the, your association. And I think perhaps uh, these are the same uh, challenges that are also faced by our other association. Thanks again for your uh, presentation. Now we are coming to uh, our presentation number five, and this is from uh, Marina Kyle. Marina is uh, uh, president of uh, Samoa Recycling and Waste Management Association. And she's also the managing director of the Waste Management uh, Limited in uh, Samoa. Uh, Marina, you have the floor. Lava and greetings from the beautiful island of Samoa. My name is Marina Sua Kyle and I'm here to represent Samoa Recycling Waste Management Association or SWAMA for short. Um, it's a privilege and honor for me to be back the second time round to present at the Clean Pacific Roundtable. Before I start, I'd like to share a little background information on the association. SWAMA was launched on the first Global Recycling Day, which is March 18th, 2018. SWAMA was set up to address low value, problematic, recyclable waste. We have waste streams such as plastic, waste oil, glass, e-waste, and any life vehicles, etc. Apart from these, we were also set up to promote and encourage the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle, through awareness campaign, school competition, coastal cleanups, and some fun activities. 
Swama has a total of 11 employees, and through our belief in inclusivity, seven of these employees are youth with hearing disability, as well as amplifying women empowerment by having seven of our employees being women. Swama headquarters is based inside of the MNRE landfill and a total of 11 acres in total with our recycling members. Plastic waste is one of the most common problematic waste there is around the world. In June of 2019, during the Pacific Games, Swama started its journey on collection of plastic drinking pet bottles, or plastic number one, as known by experts. We have partnered with one of the biggest supermarket chain stores in Samoa and have distributed recycling cages to four different locations. The concept behind this is when you go shopping, you can take your recyclables with you and drop off making recycling convenient and easily accessible to the public. Up to date, Swama now has 55 recycling station locations distributed throughout the schools, businesses, hotels, gymnasiums, sporting venues, and government buildings. Through help of funding, we plan to continue to add more. In 2021, Swama was blessed with funding from the Japan Embassy to build the first recycling facility in Samoa for plastic. We are also working with several donor partners to collect and procure machinery to enable us to process pet plastic for export in hope of bottle-to-bottle -bottle recycling. In April of 2021, Swama extended its collection to plastic numbers 2, 4, 5, and 6 and will work with its members, stakeholders, and donor partners to pilot the plastic to product in the hopes of closing the loop on the different types of recyclable plastics. Approximately 8 million liters of oil is being imported into Samoa on an annual basis, and once it becomes waste, there is nowhere for it to be disposed, stored, or managed. Hence why Samoa Waste Management Oil Program, known as SWAMP, was born. In the two years Swamp has developed, we had built Swamp Storage Facility, which holds a capacity of 100,000 litres. Up to date, we have continuously worked with its members such as shipping companies, mechanic workshops and factories. Swama has carried out trainings on safe handling of waste oil within workspace. Last month, we started Phase 2, which is collection, and had collected close to 50,000 litres of waste oil in preparation of export for further recycling. In July 2021, Swama's glass recycling project started, where we collected all sorts of glass such as bottles, jars, louvers, windows, and etc. Our machinery then takes these items and crushes it to sand, where we will be using it to trial the different use of sand. So far, Swama has tried brick making, concrete, and footpath. We plan to further trial it for sandblasting, headstone, swimming pool filter, potholes, and road markings. E-waste is one of the main reasons we initiated and pushed recyclers to form Swama from the beginning. It was a waste stream that had no solution, and for the longest time, like the other waste streams, e-waste was being illegally dumped or ended up at the landfill. Even though electronic waste components are valuable for recycling, but the time and effort in extracting such part is time-consuming due to the fact we lack the proper tools where we would spend two hours in dismantling a computer manually when compared to recycling facilities who are well equipped with power tools that only spend two to three minutes to dismantle. Swama has dismantled more than 12,000 electronics in a period of four years, and we still are not ready to export an e-waste container. We may be only less than three quarter. One of the reasons this waste stream is not moving as much as the other is we don't have a donor yet to assist with e-waste issues. So if you're listening in today and you have the capability to help fund Swama e-waste stream, I'll be very delighted to hear from you. I have reached out to several big brands that offer take-back initiatives around the world on opening up the same opportunity that they offer in developed worlds for Samoa and the Pacific. As electronics are being imported into Samoa and to the Pacific, they should take responsibility of vulnerable islands that lack infrastructure to process. It shouldn't matter if we the Pacific import 1, 5 or 10 electronics. If these big brands are selling to us, then it's their corporate responsibility to offer us the same deal on a take back in countries like New Zealand, Australia and America. 
End life eco has been and still is a problem in the sense that even though recyclers are exporting steel out of the Pacific, they cannot do end life vehicles due to the costing involved in dismantling. On this note, Swama is also looking for a generous donor to help us remove and clean up end life vehicles in our beautiful Samoa. Through our journey, there has been challenges, and some of those challenges are changing mindset so that importers and consumers, producer, manufacturers are responsible for the waste that they produce or generate. For the longest time, business only think of pricing. Nowadays, we have to consider climate change and our war on waste. We must think about our packaging and consider if the products that we import is recyclable or not. Volume is a common challenge that most of our neighboring islands and Samoa face. Volume plays a big factor in level of recycling in Samoa where we are struggling to come up with ideas on how to close the loop on a recycling project and make it sustainable. The lack of technical expertise in depth know-how of each waste stream in terms of identifying the different waste oil, identifying different types of unmarked plastic, the negative impacts on each project and technical expertise on engineering on the different projects that we are trialing. We also lack awareness on the national level to encourage and promote reduce, reuse and recycle across Samoa. In conclusion, we like to thank all our donor partners, MNRE, Japan Embassy, JICA, J Prison 2, UNDP, British Embassy, SPREP, UNEP, Nissan Samoa, Serious Business and IUCN and Coca-Cola for believing in Swama. Our members, our stakeholders, and especially the people of Samoa who have contributed one way or another, whether it be using our recycling cages, volunteering on our plastic cleanup, or engaging on our cleanups. Thank you so much. To our Pacific neighboring islands, we must work together to address our waste problems. We'd like to propose a regional recycling association so we can share our problems, learn of each other, and become stronger as one, lifting recycling in the Pacific to a new level. To our leaders who sit in the position of making decisions in government, in regional organizations, our diplomats, and etc., we need your support the most. Implementing 3R should start from the top. Let's make the year of 2022 a year of action. Afitai. Thanks, Marina, for that uh, uh, very exciting uh, uh, video and also a good uh, way of uh, asking uh, development partners for more support, uh, which uh, uh, a good initiative. Uh, since we have uh, 20 more minutes uh, from the top of the hour, we will move uh, ahead with uh, our final presentation. That will be from uh, Ofa to Kolobatu. Uh, she's the president of the Tonga Recycling Association. Uh, she's also the managing director of uh, uh, the recycling uh, uh, company in uh, Tonga. Uh, without further ado, I'm giving the screen to uh, Ofa. Malo lele. My name is Ofa Tuikolovatu, and I'm representing the Tonga Recycling Association from the beautiful Kingdom of Tonga. My name is Ofa Tuigolovatu. Uh, my business is um, you can you can say that it's diversified we started off with uh, Uiha and Sons as a core company or the mother company um, Uiha and Sons give birth to um, geo recycling after geo recycling then we had the uh, auto spare parts shop now we're having uh, fishing gears we're selling all fishing gears in the islands as well as uh, we have branches in Hapai and Mabao. And um, the latest that we've had so far added to what we have um, up and running are uh, the hotel, which is Jizami Hotel and uh, Tuna Lodge. It's our accommodation. 
The Kingdom of Tonga has a population of 107,000 with an area capacity of 748 square kilometer. Capital is Nuuk Alofa and there's 169 small islands in the island kingdom. Vision and mission of the Tonga Recycling Association is to strengthen appropriate waste management and recycling capacity in Tonga, also to represent the voice of waste management and recycling advocates on a nonprofit organization in Tonga, to develop projects and initiatives to pilot different recycling approaches in collaboration with the government and development partners, to strengthen network with each recycling association in the Pacific and enhance appropriate waste management and recycling capacity in the region. The executive members of the Tonga Recycling Association, myself is the president and uh, Simon Evuki is the secretary, also vice president. He's also, um, both of us hold and have our own recycling company. Our treasurer is Mr. Samuela Ponua. He's also deputy principal of Tupu College. The target challenges is the discussion in operating system of the recycling association. The, we will be discussing about the type of membership, the condition of different uh, memberships that we would inquire and would want for the operation of the association. What will be the actual roles of the association and the office of the association. There's also formulation of long-term strategy with the prioritizing of target wastes and the development and approval of annual activity plans with also materialization of the activity, strengthen public relation consultation with related organization and donors and training on environmental educational to the community. The Awareness Week of the uh, Environment and Climate Change in Tonga, very important and vital to our survival for educational purposes. Metal dismantling in the island is both myself and the other company owned by, somewhere, by uh, Simon Evuki. We, are, we have a lot of scrapping with um, solid wastes in the island for export reasons and for clearing out from landfills. Metal shipments from Tonga goes out to New Zealand, Australia, Fiji, um, China, Korea. Malo Alpito, and thank you for joining us in this very important meeting. Thanks, Ofa, for the great presentation. I think from the five presentations that we have so far, we have learned a lot, and uh, this is uh, an achievement for this consultation of the issues and challenges that are facing uh, your association. At the same time, we know that the great progress made. And I think uh, it's something that uh, we should uh, uh, congratulate all the associations for what you have done so far. Uh, it's uh, great to see your great effort and commitment. Um, because of time constraints, I suggest if all agree that we will uh, move the uh, our QA to the, the end while moving uh, straight to the next uh, part of our uh, session, which is uh, to look at the way forward of uh, the support uh, to the association uh, work by J. Prison. And this session will, will be uh, 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 led by uh, uh, myself, uh, Yoko, and uh, Mimura san. Uh, strengthening of a recycling association and our free R plus return advocates network in the Pacific Island. Uh, next slide. We will be looking at and discussing uh, the three areas, and I hope some of you that have just joined uh, will uh, we will also uh, recap on some of the the points that have been mentioned during the earlier presentation. Uh, area one, we're looking at the supporting existing. Uh, association and also looking at progressing an upcoming one. Uh, we also look at the, the, the support to set up new association in other countries. We have received uh, requests from other countries and this 
will be something that the Chief President will be also uh, looking at. And the last part is the support to set up uh, potential uh, sub-regional and also regional association. And uh, we need uh, the input and feedbacks from all our, everyone who are able to participate on what you think if this is uh, necessary. Next slide. Regarding area one uh, on the uh, supporting of uh, existing association, we have a uh, pilot projects. Uh, uh, the first presentation by Yoko outlined the different pilot projects that the Chief Prison and uh, Samoa Association uh, uh, have uh, uh, implemented. And some are still ongoing with uh, uh, some upcoming one. Uh, with the way that we are proposing uh, the implementation of these pilot projects, uh, we're looking at uh, uh, doing a review of the current one uh, to see and also to confirm uh, if they are a business case before moving uh, forward to promote to other uh, Pacific Island countries association. Um, so this is something that we will be uh, uh, implementing uh, to uh, replicate any uh, uh, successful uh, or potential pilot projects to other association in uh, uh, Vanuatu and Solomon, uh, also Papua New Guinea and uh, uh, Tonga. The second part is uh, our uh, support to uh, the setup of uh, association. Uh, we're looking at uh, uh, to continue our work on this area. Uh, in cooperation with other partners who are interested to uh, uh, join us. Uh, so we follow the same process that we uh, uh, follow during the uh, set up of our current association, which is to uh, look at the national laws and uh, uh, develop from there. We also support uh, the, uh, the association with the strategic plan development and that uh, with the hope to uh, set up uh, you know the basis for the way forward of the association looking at the institutional support uh, in terms of good governance and also looking at the implementing of pilot projects as uh, uh, been uh, presented in uh, area, uh, uh, former slide we're also looking at supply, supply chain and logistics which is one of the very difficult and complex area for association. I think some presentation on uh, sometime this week, we heard about the plan uh, by uh, uh, Moana Taka for a Moana Taka Plus, so that will be uh, uh, very helpful on uh, in this area. Uh, with the institutional support, uh, looking at uh, working uh, to align the association works with uh, ongoing CDL and also ARFT uh, works to uh, provide an uh, enabling environment uh, to make uh, uh, the work of our association uh, progress uh, uh, better in the future. Um, this is something that we'll be looking at uh, during this uh, uh, area. And uh, bearing in mind that our work uh, with our association, we, we look at association that are set up, we follow uh, the association uh, because uh, uh, with the work we are doing it's more easier to coordinate any support to the recyclers if they have the associations. Uh, normally uh, different uh, development partners have different policies and regulations. Uh, for Chaika and Chai Prison we cannot support directly any uh, uh, recycling company uh, unless it's under an association. So any support will be channeled through, through the association umbrella. So it's the same way we are working with uh, Samoa Association and you can see the uh, progress uh, they are uh, making. Uh, we can also uh, improve and work similar progress in other associations. Uh, next slide. And the last uh, uh, area that we're looking at is uh, looking at the potential of uh, uh, having a sub-regional association in the uh, Polynesian region, the Melanesian region, and Micronesian region. Uh, Micronesian uh, region already uh, seems that they have some 
uh, similar arrangement already in place. Uh, we won't uh, uh, repeat the, the same, but we will uh, support that. Uh, the Polynesian and Melanesian, uh, we already experienced the ongoing collaboration and uh, communication and network among uh, uh, recyclers within these regions. Some are sharing their markets, some are sharing the information, uh, the shipping. So these are very useful and uh, we feel that uh, we can uh, uh, promote and also uh, encourage encourage that kind of uh, communication network uh, within this region and uh, with the plan that uh, we'll look at the, a regional association that will consist of uh, this uh, sub-regional association so perhaps uh, one of the idea is to have the executives from the Polynesian, Melanesian and Micronesian to make up and form up a regional association so these are some of the things that we are looking at. Uh, we hope that uh, your feedback may help us to uh, decide the way forward for our association work. Uh, so please, uh, our participating audience, uh, you are all our free hour plus uh, region advocates and plus our association. Uh, let's use this chance uh, for our Q&A uh, to provide any feedback and this will help us to uh, decide the way forward for our support to our association. I think that's the end of my presentation. And uh, we now move to our Q&A. If you have any uh, pending uh, questions from the audience and our association, we are happy to uh, uh, provide feedbacks. Do we have any question on the chat box? I think some of the questions that have been uh, raised earlier have been already addressed on the ANZ setback. And I think uh, most of the comments are mostly uh, 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 to support uh, the work of our association. And that is really uh, encouraging uh, remarks from uh, uh, the members. Uh, our country, thank you for your support. Uh, we rely on these people, our key people here, that will drive uh, recycling uh, in order to uh, be achieved in our uh, region. Is there any question? Uh, if there's no question, it seems that everyone are happy. Is that right? So feel free to uh, uh, email us uh, for any supporting information. Uh, we will be able to share with you directly uh, any uh, uh, information that you may need to ask on the pilot projects. If you missed the earlier presentation by Yoko, uh, which presented uh, some of the pilot projects uh, that are implemented with the Samoa Association, uh, please feel free to ask us. We will uh, provide all those information to you. Uh, There is a question uh, to Marina. Uh, if you have a market lined up for e-waste, Marina, can you uh, respond to that? That's from Alice Lini. Do you have a market for e-waste? Um, yes, we do. We have a market in um, Korea. We're happy to share the, the information um, through email. Okay, thanks for that. There's also a question on uh, uh, the green waste. Uh, if it's not included in association works, uh, for your information, uh, these are all covered. Uh, in uh, Solomon, we have a, a colleague there that are doing a, a work on composting. Uh, that's McLean. And also, it's something that we are also promoting. So it's all uh, depend on uh, the interested uh, uh, partner and member of uh, our association to uh, uh, do that. I think because of the time, I, I have to wrap up this discussion, uh, Q&A. Uh, I apologize for that. Please, we will uh, uh, able to provide a uh, response to you for your email. Without further ado, I would like to uh, invite uh, the final remarks from uh, Mimura. Son? Satoru Mimura, you have the floor. Well, thank you, Taisan. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on behalf of the organizer of the session, 
um, I'd like to thank participants of the session. And of course, uh, I thank all the presenters for your sharing us your experience and perspective that showed us the tangible way to the circular economy. Uh, because of the small, smallness and the remoteness of Pacific Island countries and territories, recycling had been uh, considered an impossible business in the region. But you are doing, you are innovating the Pacific way of recycling. In the third SPREP meeting held September this year, SPREP and JICA reaffirmed our strategic partnership. Based on the strategic partnership, we will continue to support capacity development of recycling and waste management associations in the Pacific. And they are networking through the current and the next phase of J Prism Technical Cooperation Project. Thank you very much once again for your participation. Uh, Thank you very much, Satoru Mimura. Uh, please, I encourage you all, our uh, recyclers and the free our uh, plus advocates of the Pacific Islands. Uh, our islands are relying on us, and we, they uh, rely on us for the future generation to come. And uh, please keep up the good work. I have to say thank you all, and uh, we come to the end of our session. Thank you. So far, so forth.